Hey guys, my name is Natasha Adams. This is in no way, shape, or form a how-to video. This is just me replacing my headliner. If you need a how-to video, go somewhere else because I am not going to do this the right way at all. This is the headliner off of my F100 that's right here behind me. As you can see, a tiger has attacked it and I'm going to be reupholstering it in the cheapest way possible. I'm going to do something very original, no one's done before, it's going to be black. Luckily for me, these headliners are actually super easy to take off. It's just the trim pieces that go around the roof of the truck and they're just Phillip heads and then the headliner will drop right down. So I'm going to scuff up all the trim pieces. Not too bad, just enough to get some texture on them so the paint will stick better. Make sure to breathe this in. It's uh, really good blood paint. Make sure to get these creases here because that's where the paint is going to want to chip off first. So make sure to get really into those creases. Make sure you cover all your area. Yeah. But this isn't a how-to. You can do whatever you want. As you can see, the fabric is already coming off of this pretty easily. I mean, super easy. Time to paint! And yes, that is the under there, and I do not care. So I will be painting the underside first, and then going and flipping it over to the side that I actually care about. I'm about to take off to get some fabric. I'm going to measure this thing, see how big it is, uh, a few inches extra, and then I'll go choose what fabric I want, which is exciting because I already know what I want. So 54, 54, 29, 54, 29, 54, 29. All right, these are all painted. I'm going to leave them here when I go to get fabric so that Mother Nature can poop and shed and get them all dirty. Here I am at Joanne's being insanely socially awkward. Very tempting, but no. That would match the truck. Hmm. Aww. Little jack stand. Classy car stuff. So, surprise, surprise. I went with black. Okay, I'm back home now. I'm gonna wipe all this down, put adhesive on it, and put the black that I got over this. So I got the can of the tacky stuff that I'm gonna stick this on with. Again, I do not recommend doing it this way. This is just the way that I'm doing it. It's a super cheap, quick way. Um, ideally, you wanna get new foam. Ideally, you wanna like, Probably let it sit for a day, which I'm not going to do. Okay, we're going to flip this over. It looked, it came out actually pretty good for using old foam. Um, flip it over, adhesive it, stick it to the back. Yeah, looks pretty good for not doing it before. Look at it. Much improved from where it was before. I'm excited. It looks so good. 
smells like glue. Now, the time has come to put it in the car and see how it looks. I'm excited and I think it's gonna look really, really, really good. Before I put the headliner in, I decided, well, very last minute decision of putting some Reflectix up here. This is an old window shade, but it'll do the same job. Um, I'm gonna put adhesive all here, underneath here, stick it up, and then the headliner will cover all this American-ness. And uh, hopefully it'll be cooler in the truck when it's uh, 100 degrees out. Reflectix is looking pretty good. It's time for the headliner. the final product. It came out really really good. It's actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm surprised. Super clean. Fits really well. Wow. Even the little trim pieces they came out really good too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos working on this F100. I hope you guys like it. Thank you.